Open Source versus Proprietary Software, Part 1. Philosophy-wise, open source and proprietary software really boils down to testing, stability, and security. And your philosophy is on each of those things. Proprietary software, at its best, there's always exceptions to the rules, but at its best, proprietary software comes pre-tested. A group of people who were, worked at the company that made it have installed it, tried it, run it through its paces, and de deemed that it is stable enough to be released. Open source software often labels its releases based on latest, stable, and recommended, and those can be very different in terms of features. So that's the biggest first blush of what is the differences between open source and proprietary software is that level of testing. But the next stage is security, and this is a little bit deeper of a conversation. Open source says it's secure by design that because it's open source, anybody can look at what is going on in the source code and figure out whether or not the product is flawed. The logic goes that the community will then find those flaws and fix them before they're a problem. The problem with that philosophy is if I'm smarter than the community or the community isn't very large, I can find those flaws and exploit them because I have the source code and I can say, ha ha, he did that thing and it's wrong and I can exploit it. Whereas proprietary software, you've obfuscated some of that stuff. And so as long as it's unknown, it's harder to find those flaws quickly. But you're relying on the company that supports that product to fix those flaws once they are discovered. In the same way, you're relying on the open source community to fix the problems as they're discovered. So you really have to decide, do you trust the user base to find and fix the problem, or do you trust the company to find and fix the problem? For mass market products, things like the Linux kernel, problems are found pretty quickly and resolved pretty quickly because there's a large user base to pull from. But with specialized software, that may not be the case. And so you really are weighing whether or not the community is smarter than the people who would attack that community. And at least for this video, I'm going to leave it at that. Of You have to decide who you're going to put your trust in, the community or an organization. And you have to weigh how big that community is, how smart that community is, and how big and how smart is that organization? Small proprietary software versus small open source software is probably a wash. Large company versus small open source software probably is going to favor the large company. Large open source community versus small proprietary software, you're probably better off going with the large community. That isn't the case in all cases, and you've got to do your research before picking a product. But at least for this particular video, that's where we're going to leave it.